Heart Mountain National Wildlife Refuge. All the cattle were removed from the refuge in 1990. This is a natural experiment for us researchers. Heart Mountain is located southern Oregon on the Nevada border. We asked the question, can we re reverse ecosystem damage by removing livestock? If so, could we restore biodiversity? Will you be the judge? We have before and after pictures. 1990 with cattle along this stream, 2013 without cattle. See the big growth of willows along the stream? You know, you remember from Yellowstone how important willows along the stream are for the birds and the other wildlife? 1987 with cattle, 2013 without. Here the channel is getting filled with sedges and grasses. This is what we want to see. We want to see so much vegetation on these small streams you can't even see the water. Again, 1988 with cattle along this stream, 2013 without cattle. Look at the willow flush along that stream. 1988, there was sagebrush growing in the floodplain. The stream was incised from downcutting erosion. The water table lowered. The dry plants move in, the sagebrush. This reversed itself with the removal of cattle. The water table's now higher, and we have these lovely floodplain plants growing, and the sagebrush is gone in this example. We found 74% decrease in eroding banks after the removal of cattle, 400% increase in willow, 1,000 increase in aspen, up to 133 percent increase in bird abundance was found by researchers at Heart Mountain National Wildlife Refuge. Okay, can we have this clip? Well, I'm going to take you to Heart Mountain so we can hike around there for the next two minutes. The only thing the managers did was remove the cattle. And then we just stand back and watch what happens. Aspen and willows are streamside biodiversity indicators. These woody plants connect with the birds. You can hear the understory shrubs and flowers. It's just incredible to see this. When the cattle were here in these meadows, the aspen would stay about this tall. They would be eating the small branches and the, and the leaves. All the cattle were removed in 1990, and then we got this incredible flush of aspen here. So we have these young ones that are less than 25 years old. And then, in contrast, we have these very large old ones that are just on their way out. This is about a 70 centimeter diameter aspen tree originated in the 1800s before livestock arrived on Heart Mountain. This one here is 2.2 centimeters diameter. This came in about 10 years ago. We've taken some uh, photographs since the cows have come off and compared those to what the willow looked like with the cows on the refuge. And it's just night and day. Just an incredible flush of willow and aspen all through this streamside area. It's in quite a spectacle to see how nature can recover if it's just left on its own, how it can restore itself. That was a video made by Trip Jennings, a colleague of mine. So, now that we're back from Heart Mountain, let's look at how Heart Mountain fits in with the American West. What's shown in brown on this map are all the federal grazing allotments in the American West. So that's over half of the American West is grazed by livestock. And with similar effects that we saw in Heart Mountain. But the livestock is still throughout the vast majority of these areas. So uh, in terms of restoration, there's great potential 
with removing livestock from a lot of these other areas. Right here is the Mauhir National Wildlife Refuge, illegally occupied by militants until two days ago. <laughs> Ranchers are out. They want more control over these lands from the federal government. I'm sure you heard about them in the news. Well, we just published this study in environmental management in the year 2015. A key point about Heart Mountain is ecosystem restoration can happen naturally, passively, if we remove the cattle. Let's move on to the last topic, environmental nutrition. Defined, it's the interrelationships between our food choices.